Hello, and welcome back to Streets of New Capenna with our wonderful cast. And thank you again to Saving Throw Show for having us on. It's such a pleasure to be here, and we're incredibly happy to have this world come to life in this space. Uh, from last we left our, our heist crew, uh, we had Lil Rice. Uh, infiltrate himself into the uh, local catering and setup crew. Um, Squiddy and Jimena managed to very easily integrate themselves into high society as they're looking for their mark, Johnny Low. And Marlo has espied a certain suspicious and very old school looking vehicle in the parking lot uh, mm -hmm. right next to this amazingly gorgeous mansion where this party is being held tonight. So with that, uh, let's head back over to Lil Rice. Lil Rice, you, you have found yourself basically in the middle of hauling out some. So the theme of this particular album has been about like old Capenna, the glory and the music of old Capenna. There's like definitely some uh, what we would call um, in our world, like a Ren Fair sort of influence. Um, mm which has led to bringing in these incredibly intricate marble sculptures um, of older characters, knights on horses, ladies in distress, damsels with what look like upside down ice cream cones on their head. Um, you are bringing in a host of those statues in. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check or investigation check um, based off of how you're looking for clues. Uh, I will do a perception. Uh, cool. I'm just like, what I'm doing is like, um, so I wouldn't be investigating. I would kind of just be looking at people's like bodies and how they move mm -hmm. them. And mm -hmm. maybe that like clues me into what's maybe me picking up onto something. Cause like I come from a long thing and like, you know, how people in the streets carry themselves or the way they move their bodies can present as a threat. And so like, that's something I hone into rather than like, little fine pieces of objects or, or tables or cloths or whatever. So I'll go with mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Read uh, people's bodies. Classic Michael rolls. It's a 10. So. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you haven't seen anything so far. Uh, one, one thing that kind of just you see come and go. Um, there's a couple of like, big guys in suits that just sort of walk by and they, they look pretty nice. You're not super familiar with the way the wealthy dress. You wouldn't right. be able to tell the difference between like a fine um, wool suit versus say like something that you could maybe get at men's warehouse. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not exactly your forte. And so you're like, ah, people in suits walking around. They're kind of big. That gets, that happens. That's life. Mm -hmm. Um, but you do see a couple of, of those folks sort of just hanging around. Um, one of them has a comically tiny hors d'oeuvre on a toothpick that they eat. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll at least follow those people, like try and see, uh, I'll see someone who passes be if my perception will allow this, like see someone who passes by me, who's carrying things to their general area. And I make mm -hmm. note of what object they just got or something similar to it. Yeah. Like one and... of the catering staff w w walks by with a silver tray. Um, she looks like a, um, another elf. You see like her, she's wearing um, catering outfit with a little bow tie and silver tray, mm -hmm. she, but it's got a bunch of crudités on the platter. She's like, Oh yeah. What's up? Do you want one? I can sneak you a couple. Actually, I, I need to, uh, so I was just told by uh, one of them that I need to, uh, mm -hmm. I'm lifting things. I should have been uh, a caterer. One of the persons on sick and I need to feel the, do you have something to, for my size to, to, to serve? Oh, um, she looks you up and down. She's a tiny little thing and you're so big. <laughs> she looks uh -huh. like you're down with a, with a very uh, critical eye and says, yeah, come on over with me. I can, uh, I can get you over to the truck. We've got some extra uniforms. So uh, yeah, come on over um totally makes sense that you would be jumping in because uh she does look a little harassed so um she leads you over to basically the big catering truck where they bring mm -hmm. in um like extra linens and things like that and so you go back and you see you go ahead and give me a luck roll all right sure i'm asking you for quite a few of those tonight you're picking the unluckiest person but here we go i'm sorry <laughs> believe in yourself oh oh my gosh the power of the no, did you do this it 
classic oh, i'm so role. sorry i said believe One. in yourself and then yeah <laughs> yeah you asked me for a luck roll you know what you're gonna get <laughs> Give it to me. Was it that one? Is it straight yeah. that one? Yeah. Go, Michael. <laughs> no, go, Lil Rice. <laughs> um, you can't find something that fits you, but you do find a really nice looking tablecloth. Yeah, that's happening. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to um let me think. Let me think. Uh I'll get a black tablecloth and a white tablecloth. And I'll try and put them together. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to need you to roll for that. Um, what okay. would you like to use? To craft. To craft. <laughs> yeah. How's yeah, your artistic eye, though? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you Maybe... get a natural 20? <laughs> I don't know what to roll. What, what, what do you, like, uh, um, would this be? Go, I guess, uh, go ahead and give me. Would uh, stealth? Be... Like a, it's like yeah, a why don't you give me, like, a sleight of hand? Like almost. a sleight of hand. Yeah, to see okay. if you can, like. You know, yeah. you you grew up in a family where your mom would absolutely have made you learn how to sew. I do have a disguise mm -hmm. kit too, so maybe use some mm -hmm. of that. You can do that. Okay, oh, take it with advantage. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, cool, awesome. First roll is a fourteen. Okay, and then the second roll is okay, a dirty twenty. There we go. Your mom is a seamstress. And you watched her day to day. Like this is how your money, how your family had extra money. She'd mm -hmm. taken like mending and things like that. She would work with like local dry cleaners, um, who all who did actual dry cleaning um, in this world, um, and actually like fix up, you know, tears or repairs and things like that. So you every every single one of your uh, family, your siblings knows how to sew, and so you take these two pieces of tablecloth. <laughs> And you managed to fashion together a pretty good looking suit. And yes. it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be like all that fancy. Um, it's just enough to make you look like the catering staff. And as you walk out from the truck, the the elf who helped you uh, looks at you and says, like she whistles and she says, Ooh, looking good. Glad we found something for you back there. Yeah, uh, you know, my mom was uh, one of the few rocks who could work a needle, and so I can too when I like grab the needle and you, the needle is small for my big rocks hands i don't know how this is happening and then <laughs> i like i bite the you know the thread off and then i uh affix the little bow tie that i need to do it's like how am i looking how am i looking sweetie am i looking oh, you look uh, so good you look thanks. oh my gosh oh you got the darts in mm -hmm. I, I need to give you some of my clothing all right come over here we've got we've got more of these we've got um some of these little meatballs on sticks everything's on a stick for this party so like just here you go she brings you over to the the catering um the catering tent um they've got like chafing dishes and whatnot but mm -hmm. she does hand you um some uh hands you like basically a a stack of linen Ta like towels essentially mm -hmm. that you can hand to people as napkins mm -hmm. and a uh, a silver plate with little meatballs on i, I take a server's dozen that so uh, i'm having one for myself for sure oh yeah i gotta sample the goods I gotta sample the goods all right well um why don't you get go ahead uh we need some people in the uh roulette we got using people in the poker room and then at the roulette room no one has asked people if they would like any um you know, if they take the whole plate, they take the whole plate. That's a that's a kind of thing they're paying for tonight. Sure, sure, sure. Thanks, thanks for the outfit. Thanks for uh, the, you know helping me uh, cover the your shifts. Uh, and I'm just gonna grab the. What do you do with your old clothes? Are they in the truck? Uh, yeah, they're in the truck. Are they sewn okay. into the inside? <laughs> yeah, they're break. It's a breakaway it's a cocktail. Breakaway? Yeah, it's a breakaway. <laughs> I'm sorry. Time, you would overalls. need you would need to roll like a twenty five to make like stripper. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like you would need to roll well oh, to just, make it's, it's, it's an over. That, it's an over uniform. Like mm -hmm. it, it would it would take a high roll to make an outfit that you could tear off and then put back on. But to make an outfit that you only ever have to tear off once, like, you know, like, it's not like he needs the tablecloth suit again later. It's might true. Say the lower it's the true. roll, the easier it is to tear away. But but the lower the <laughs> roll, the less good it will look on the outside. The like, this is the difference the dirty between, 20 like, is like that middle ground, right? Easy to tear away. It's it's, it's possible. <laughs> All right, um, but you did say <laughs> that it's in the truck, so I'm gonna hold you to that. It's in the truck. It's in the truck. Yeah, there's nothing under there but your underwear, friend. You know, it, it's it's nice underwear. Unless so. you tell me otherwise. 
Cool. But um, yeah, so um, you head into the main house. Um, Jimena, you are scoping the joint. So go ahead and give me a, an investigation check and tell me what you're looking for. Let's do it. Um, I think Jimena is looking for Patricia, looking for anywhere that, like, if she is schmoozing, if she is talking to a bunch of people, Jimena thrives while, like, slipping into a situation and just, like, settling herself there and becoming a natural part of the scene and then figuring out how she can disrupt it. Uh, so I think that I'm just looking for her. Okay. You did hear from the master ceremonies that she's probably back in the spin the bottle room. Nice. Um, which is where Squiddy is also maybe headed. So if you want to head in that direction. But yeah, um, yeah if you want to see if you can pick up on anything else. Is there oh, like sorry. A is there like a a lot of this is outdoors, like on the lawn and it's whatnot? half and half. Okay. It's half and half. The so yeah, I think I'm definitely... gonna head I'm gonna head into the house. So mm -hmm. I think you should scope the outside first and figure out like are, like the security or escape routes or whatever. Um so we've got info on both sort of halves of the of the battlefield. Dope. Yeah. So I will um what I'll do, I think that I mean, I rolled a 15, so whatever information I can get from that, um, almost without actually, I, I kind of don't want to go outside just yet, but like, I think that I could stay near like windows and, and not even windows, I guess we're whatever. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go outside. I'll try to see like escape routes. Yeah. Security detail. What all that looks like with a 15. Okay. So just a general general look uh of what's going on as you i'm gonna compromise you go out on the pair you go out on the balcony mm -hmm. <laughs> i feel like that's there we go place. uh you head up on the balcony um which isn't really a balcony because it's just like the first floor and there's a thing mm -hmm. there but anyway she has one she's like that so you walk out on the balcony and you see that um this is a pretty large mansion with a lot of um big french doors like the ones that you just walk through um, it would be difficult to secure um, this part of the house. You look over to the basically what would be the north side of the house, and you do see that area is a little bit more residential. Um, you see uh, the windows, they're still large, but they're a little bit smaller. It's not like these big French doors, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you do see, you know, uh, a garden back there filled with copses of trees that are specifically looking like you know like eh, you could have a bit of a rendezvous back there a bit of a tete-a-tete -tete. okay um, okay yeah like if you think the kind like you know in bridgerton when they're just like oh i'm gonna meet you in the garden and then like yeah up, whatever that's yep. definitely it's it's a hookup garden <laughs> love that yeah <laughs> love that okay She's got hookup um, gardens in the back. Oh man, to be rich enough Prepared. to afford a hookup garden in your Prepared. home. Specifically um, for hooking up. <laughs> amazing. So I think that after that, I think I'm looking around to see if there's any other places or people. Like if obviously, like if people are all going towards a certain area, I want to scout that out. Um or even just like yeah, and anything I can kind of notice in this time. On a 15 from the parapet, the majority of the guests, basically almost all the guests, are um, on the south, uh, on the south part of the house. So definitely in uh, the, it basically what would be the front of the house. Mm -hmm. The back of the house, there's a couple of lights lit in a couple of rooms. Yeah. Um, but you don't really see any movement you don't see like a shadow um like or or the profile of anyone come across the window um you you do see like uh, as you turn back in though at the corner of your eye you do see like a couple of larger security folks and you clock them in the same way as another security person would mm -hmm. um these and where was are that at? sorry where was that at um, so they are basically um, walking, they're on another, 
balcony kind of parapet situation a little bit further north of you. You're basically in the first, so like the southernmost balcony because you're in the front of the house, right? So okay. you're in that particular balcony. One balcony down, you do see a couple of like bigger, burlier dudes. Like there's one rocks and like uh, a dragonborn just kind of like hanging out. Um, yeah. Um, and in like okay. suits, and you know, with your maestro's eye, uh, these are red to suits, mm. and they're just kind of out there. You know, uh, one of them's got a tray; <laughs> they're sharing a tray of things on sticks. <laughs> so, does that does that more so imply to me that they are fake, fake security? Does that imply to me that they? were brought they, in for one mm -hmm. night or like you're not sure if they were brought in for one night um because you haven't been in this house before but it would mm -hmm. be kind of odd to you in your um expertise as a security person um to have them be here all the time because it's not really how patricia rolls uh from what you've heard in the tabloids that being said though the way they move indicates they they know how to fight they have an ease with which they maneuver their own bodies, which would suggest they uh, they know their way. They know how to use they know how to use them as a as a physical tool that it is. Okay. Huh. All right. I think I'm just noting that down with my uh, mental camera, mm -hmm. um, so that when I see someone next time, I can tell them where to avoid or what to avoid. Um, mm -hmm. How many? How many of them? There's just a couple of them, mm -hmm. but um, they, they, um, another one actually does come up on the out on the parapet and like lectures the two of them. In like, not even so, so much lectures, it's just like, what the hell are you doing? You're out here. Ah, you stick like motioning them inside. Takes the just like takes the um, silver tray and like frisbees it over the balcony and tells them, basically tells them like to get back in. Yeah. Okay. I will wait for them to come back in and then see where they go. Like if they just stand in the corner, then I will continue my walk towards the uh, spin the bottle room. But mm -hmm. if they go towards a certain area, then I will be following them. Okay, so you head back in as they head back in. Give me a perception check to see if you can spot them yeah. across the room. This very this big dice room. again. It's doing pretty good. 18 for a... Is perception? Mm -hmm. 22 total. You nice. walk in. So um, the way that the rooms are laid out here, it's very much like an old school Georgian mansion where like um, the doors are, are like flung open. So they're not technically in this room but you have line of sight into the next mm -hmm. room where that balcony um leads in from and so you see them come back in and they look kind of sheepish and you know the general i just like okay boss i'm sorry and they um they start heading north further into the house interesting i feel like i should follow them as you uh, do you want to do you have anything before we go over to Squiddy? Uh, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to follow them, I think. Okay. I will follow up with you with a, yes. are you going to be stealthy about it? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I will follow up with you with a stealth roll. I'm going to note that down when, I, nice. when the camera comes back. I'll roll that right now and write it down on a piece of paper. <laughs> Brilliant. Squiddy. You casually, be, people know you, so they're just like, oh my gosh, Squiddy, you're here. I didn't know that you liked electronic jazz. I didn't realize that was your thing. I thought you were more of like an old school brass band kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, uh, Squiddy is like, look, you got to keep up with the times, all right? If you fall behind in this town, you're dead. Ah, <laughs> don't i know it <laughs> oh oh it's so funny um so yeah you do see a bunch of colleagues you eventually oh, oh yeah definitely going yeah. around i you know shake people's hands just as i walk by like you know the thing where it's like you're shaking hands to acknowledge you know it's like we're friends we know each other but like i'm gonna keep walking i'm not gonna stop to talk to you um i've even got i think i like in my head that um i've got my mage hand as a third hand to shake more people's hands <laughs> as I like walk down the hall. It's like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nice to see, nice, yeah, nice to see you. Like, how's it going? How's the family? Um, so I'm going down. Yes, I, I guess 
I suppose I know where the spin the bottle room is. You do know where the spin the bottle room is. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So I, yeah. I head in there um, and try to see what what's going on. Um, so there you actually see uh, the hostess herself um, with a champagne bottle full of halo <laughs> at a very beautiful table uh, with this gorgeous uh, deep burgundy color. And there are and you you see the star of the night, Mercy Madoc, sitting next to her Great. and they're chatting there's a there's a couple of empty seats available but you see a a crew of like some of the wealthiest and some of the most attractive people on new Capenna. um like kit kanto is actually there sitting at the, <laughs> at, the at the table uh-huh. um and yeah just it, it's an incredibly uh, some really hot vampires card. are there too <laughs> um, um yeah i'm i squee is good at these types of situations he himself you know being kind of past his prime is not a you know young attractive socialite but he knows how to play the role of like kind of like you know older funny guy who's like you know there, like everybody likes him and you know like he's clearly not like trying to like put himself on the same level i think squiddy's a master of being like one level below everybody else in the conversation which means he gets into all the conversations because he's like never like Mm. the biggest person never the threat in the room um amazing but yeah i think that he comes up and yeah he's like uh patricia how's it going what a lovely (gasps) event oh squiddy kisses air kisses um and she embraces you she says my dear i I'm so I did I don't know if I sent you an invitation honestly I just I had that outsourced and but you know I'm so glad you're here have you met Mercy um star of the hour debut album as um as the dragon sings new electronic oh, I just love this new genre of music what will the young one think of next oh, and she says this being at most three years older than Mercy Maddox <laughs> right um, yeah <laughs> um, yeah Squiddy you know like if if Mercy seems like the kind of person who like you know is not like diva-ish and like like he'll definitely like shake her hand um, it's definitely like, a Grimes sort of feel uh-huh. <laughs> to to Mercy. She's a very um, uh, avant garde sort of individual. She's wearing sunglasses. It's at this <laughs> point nine thirty at night, uh-huh. and and she just uh, has this sort of uh, very um, filigreed gold and silver dress with like interwoven patterns, and she um, extends a languorous hand. She says charmed i can tell you probably what your what's your enneagram sign <laughs> um <laughs> i don't i have no idea um <laughs> but okay. i take i take if you hand. want to roll deception to like I, I definitely will uh, okay. make something up just make something up I rolled, squiddy's uh, entp or something <laughs> yeah i rolled a 15 okay um, great you can you can say whatever it, by the way if the question is ever do I want to roll deception or persuasion? The answer is yes. Um, well, she rolled a six, so she's going to believe whatever you tell great, her. Great, yeah. So like, I take the hand. I think I do a little bow and like kiss the back of her hand. Um, it's like, lovely to meet you. What I must say, what a wonderful album. Loved every second of it. Has not, have not oh. listened to this at all. Um, you just got it. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just learned that it existed today. Um, the Squiddy and Squiddy is like, um, you're like, hey, uh, yeah, love the dress, love the glasses. By the way, if you ever need any legal help, you know, just ask Patricia here how much in taxes oh, she pays on this house. And like, you know, like I, you know, like you just like try to like get ingratiate myself in this room because I think now that I know that both of them are in here, the likelihood that um, Johnny Lowe, like, would would some at some point come in here is very high. So I'm just trying to like ingratiate myself into this like group and make it be like yeah like i'm a funny guy here to like hang out well um and patricia just says oh i'm so yes he, you got me this house you made sure all my um my two dozen cats are seen too i'm just so happy <laughs> they're all upstairs right now but you know muffy misses you you don't yeah, like um, these cats. <laughs> i want to 
Uh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna do- I'm gonna just do a, a persuasion for sure. a second. Nine plus nine, eighteen. Okay, so roll nineteen. I just this is just purely that I remember the name of all the cats. Um, you do. You do remember. It's the like name this of is a thing where it's like right. Like I really try to like you know make myself feel like the best friend of like all of my clients, and so like I'm like calling out the minutes like oh yeah you know it's like you know how is like such and such as leg feeling is oh, you know Mr. is so and so eating Snow well again like is doing so well and i mean as it turns out i shouldn't be feeding the cats brie i mean that <laughs> that apparently guessed? is who would have guessed <laughs> um who i guessed? i sort of as we're having this conversation i like try to like you know like walk walk her like back into the i don't know how people are sitting but it's like you know i want to make sure that like in, re-ingratiate you know like get myself into the circle get her sitting back down just so that now it's like a normal thing like i am a part of this, this conversation oh, yeah. circle now like you, you, or the spin the bottle game yeah. or whatever's going you're, on you're playing spin the bottle and um would you like and so uh, patricia sits down with um with uh mercy who is again he, she looks and she's like you seem like a nine to me it's cool i like that nines are cool I I <laughs> flatter my computer. I, I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> and so um Patricia says, Well, if you want to play, this is spin the bottle, but I'm calling it kiss and tell. Um, because when you spin the bottle and live in someone, you can choose either kiss. And there's a closet I put over there and she like motions over to is clearly just it's a standalone closet. It's just it's it's, it's upholstered in like guilt and velvet and, and ridiculousness. And um, but it's also a truth booth. So if you say tell and you ask a question, the person who you're with has to answer truthfully. Is it exciting? I, um I want to uh so first of all, I think Squiddy has a career. So like Squiddy has been in a lot of weird situations with rich people before. It's like the main thing he does for his job. But like after a lifetime of like, you know, uh, like embezzlement and fraud and murder and arson and like burglary, like this is the weird, like, is like, what is, what am I, what did he get himself into? In this <laughs> um, he is going to, I'm going to use my Eldritch Sight. And just check the room and see what is magical here. Like, yeah, like there's some cool. halo, but like, yeah. do any of the people have magic? Is there anything that's hidden in here? And is the closet like a zone of truth? Like, it's actually magically you have to tell. One hundred percent. Okay. So okay, so you you do that and you look at everyone around you. It's a normal like protection. You see some protection charms, health. Uh-huh. Um, so, so stuff like that nothing all that um pretty standard for rich people and uh but, but as you cast and of course the halo is sitting on the table looking yep. real big and expensive um it's like a magnum bottle of champagne full of halo but you look over at the booth and it's actually a zone of truth okay great yeah i'm uh cool. i'm gonna say uh you spin away and i'm gonna like casually like pour myself like some of the halo and, cool. there's, and a, I, there's a halo fountain um that you can absolutely great. somebody brings over halo actually humana you walk into the parlor and you see this go down <laughs> um so, so you can you can assist and you can help with i would love to help to so earlier that. earlier on for pre-stream we talked a little bit about the effects of halo could you remind me what uh what the benefits of halo are so uh a serving size of so as we know in this world halo is a very potent magical substance distilled from the essence of angels though y'all don't know that um (laughs) and um for the purposes of dungeons and dragons we've decided that if you ingest a serving size of halo it will last for an hour and for magic users um it will basically elevate two spells of your choosing to the next you bu- you bump it up a level if you want to cast a second level fireball you can now cast at third level um you can do this twice and for non-magic users it gives you a plus two to strength or constitution and it also bumps your hp by 10 
All right, so I am going to use this opportunity to partake in the Halo, you know, so that I clearly am fitting in with this crowd, but also so I get that benefit on uh, um, on my two spell slots. But uh, if you do take without... more than one dose in an hour, your wisdom does go down by negative. By negative yes, point. so uh, for the next hour, I've got these two uh, spell slot upgrades, and I didn't have to spend my Halo vials I've got in my pocket, so... Uh, you know, I get to just uh, take those home with me. <laughs> Amazing. So, um, I'm going to. So, who are you trying? Are you trying to sleight of hand direct this bottle towards someone? Um, no. I think. Um, and I don't. I'm not even sure. We don't have to stick on this scene. You know, we we could transition to someone else because essentially what I'm doing is I'm like, so we know right now that Johnny Lowe is uh is here because. He has a connection to Mercy. Um, and I think that if Johnny Lowe was going to show up anywhere, he would either sh- he would either at some point come talk to Mercy. That seems like the reason that he's here. Um, or maybe talk to Patricia. I don't know. Maybe there's some other thing going on. But the fact that they're both in this room means that I want to be in this room because that means that like it's a really high chance that he's going to show yeah. up. So, like, it's a room where Humana... things might happen. Yeah. So like I'm <laughs> if if the situation comes up where I get rolled on the bottle. I'm just always going to pick Kiss um, and, you know, my, my cephalid tentacly beard, um, you know, oh, whoever's into that. <laughs> um, that's not how I thought this was going to go down. Cool. If, I, if I see Jimena, like, come in, I, like, you know, give her a nod on, like, you know, I've, I've got this room scoped out. So, like, go, like, start looking around and see if you can find anything elsewhere. Because, like, if he comes in here, I'm going to be, you know, on him. So, uh, yeah, Humana, you walk in. Um, but what, what was your stealth check, by the way? Uh, I wrote it down. I got a 15. It's good enough. It's a busy It's a busy party. You manage to tail these guys as they come through the kiss and tell room. Um, you, uh, there's an imperceptible nod between the two of you as you, as, as Humana walks through. And, um follows these guys and squiddy you do see her follow uh two big dudes as they they walk through and with that uh let's transition outside marlo yeah there's a car real distinctive you want to do anything to it can i can i sabotage the vehicle oh yeah describe to me how you want to sabotage the vehicle I, i need to refer to to chris the the mechanisms that power halo in vehicles. the exhaust pipe yeah just, can i put like i, I mean I, I it's running like on halo, halo. Vial. it's running I, on halo can I'll i like honest, overload I the car so you've got i think you've got free reign to to if if you can think of a fun way to sabotage it you know that that is a bit of world building i think we left up to interpretation my, so I'll, 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 go for it goblin <laughs> trash master right here yes. Yes. artifacts yes. um why don't you give me um so oh, I've been looking over my abilities. So it's like, oh, magical yeah. tinkering. I was like, I can make like an object that shines a bright light. So if like if they were, if we were in like some sort of like vehicle chase, I can like I can just like blind whoever is driving. Or I would just like, can I overload the car with like Halo? Would that work? Um, I'm put it where the coolant. Out. Put it where the coolant's yeah. supposed to be, or like, <laughs> yeah, I, when they like when they like turn oil. on the car, or just like maybe not blow up. We need to bring this person in alive but you know um let me look at your thing um, so i could do i guess i have a couple i mean i could use I could use investigation to kind of see what's available like do they have any sort of safeguards on this vehicle yeah like go ahead and give vehicle. me an investigation check to check the scope out this vehicle okay, um are you five. checking to see if anyone is nearby as yeah because i want to kind of see it so like i don't want to like go and like lean on it and then just like wee 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 I don't want any of that. Um, okay. Um, go ahead and roll your perception to start. Okay, cool. Um, an 18. 18. Um, you, as you get, uh, there's no one around other than like, because you just sat in your car, right? You've sat in Louise. Plastic. Plastic's up. Everything's Plastic's up. Out. Everything's, you're blacked out. Um, yeah, people, the, the behavior of everyone else has been like, we park our car and then we go and like get a drink or hang out or play cards or whatever as we wait for the rich people to come back um so 
yeah, there's no one else kind of around the car. So you can go investigate the car as much as you like without having anyone um, mess with you. Amazing. I also picked small for my size. So I'm like a tiny tabaxi driver. <laughs> I also have a booster seat. Oh, you're uh, so cute. Oh, you're yeah, so cute. I'm just like, I have a booster seat. I've got one of those, like the, the, the pedals is like got an extender and everything. Oh my um, gosh. Sick. So yeah, I'm just like this like little cat getting into mischief. Um, so I noticed there's nobody around. Nobody notices me. My, um, how are you dressed uh, my, by the way? Like a, like a normal chauffeur? I'm just like a normal chauffeur and I like actually pull out my, my spell focus and it's a wrench. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a wrench. It's, it's a rod, but it's a wrench. Um, and I want to actually go and sabotage this vehicle. I want to make it so that if they try to see like, it won't even start up. I want to just disable the vehicle. Okay, give me an investigation check to um, to assess how best to do this. Now, given the score. Okay, cool. Yeah. I have other things like I've got heat metal, I've got shatter. I mean, that's a little dramatic. Oh, I, I guess the reason why I investigate would be great because so that way you know how, like, you know how much 17. time you have. Okay, seventeen. That's good enough. So, um, you see that the way it's a retrofit, right? Um, mm it's old school um and the work as you you know very silently like pop open the hood take a peek inside um it's pretty well done but there are definitely a couple of fuselage like there's there's a few things you can definitely mess with and that engine that engine looks custom mm. nice yeah very nice. another thing about the notice Run some pure Halo, baby. Okay. Okay. So, what can I do with this? You can. Um, what are my options? Your options are you can probably can I siphon off the Halo. You can siphon off the Halo if you've got a place to put it. But a mechanism like this, it doesn't take to, it's, it's a finely tuned instrument. It's been lovingly handcrafted and put together. It really depends on what you want to do. You can take a couple of key little nuts and bolts and it'll fall apart after a couple of, after a half a mile, maybe not even that. You can siphon off the halo, pawn off somewhere else. Why not? Both? Can't even start. You could do both. You could leave just enough both? for them to think they've got it. You could. You could leave just enough to make them think they've got a chance and then they break down. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I have actually. I'm looking Ooh. through my inventory. I have a, I have a flask of oil. I'm just gonna uncork it, dump it all over, maybe pour <laughs> it on the ground or something. Um, pour it in front of the driver's seat. Pour it in the, the driver's, driver's seat door. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll put. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? You know how they have like the like the the window in the front. I'm gonna pour it along the base of the window. Um, I'm just gonna like pour the oil there and kind of you know I've I've got. You know, a, a kid, I can maybe wash out the vial, and I'm gonna fill that up with Halo. How big is your vial? It looks big in my hands because I'm a small tabaxi. <laughs> okay. Although, as Chris has pointed out, I should probably be a raccoon. I'm a trash. <laughs> you should have probably yeah, been a raccoon. Uh, uh, I could be a raccoon. I can be. I could be a raccoon. I think tabaxi you, as you raccoon works great. Tabaxi. All right. Yeah. Mostly because I love the image of just a little tiny raccoon uh, driver. Oh, yeah. I, I imagine like when I <laughs> when I pop open the hood, I actually close it and get inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. You just inside. get. You just burrow inside. You put on. You take on a little flashlight. And you like. Oh yeah. I got a there's little even, headlamp. Or there's something. even the card. The card smuggler share has like art of raccoons that are siphoning halo. And so now that's just what I'm imagining is that that's you. you're like, you've got the tube and you're like siphoning the halo out of the car. That's me, yeah. that's me, it's hundred percent me. Except I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm stouter. So <laughs> yeah, you, you do have a, like, um, a car repair kit in Luis. It's got some rubber hosing and okay. other things. Um, and in addition to that, you know, I'm just gonna give you a couple of containers. Is this the first have, time you've done I, this job? I went and got a lot of kits. I have Smith's tools. I have Thieves' tools. I have Tinker's yeah. tools. One hundred percent, you've got as part of your Thieves' tools. One hundred percent, you've got like a couple of those, um, um, those carry, uh, those just to, you know, uh, basically container, um, for yeah, yeah. for this. So you, I need. I'm going to need you though, uh, to see how fast you do this. Um, I'm going to need you to roll sleight of hand. And also, are you doing this pretty stealthily? I mean, the, the hood is down. I'm inside the car. No way anybody's going to notice me. 
unless he <laughs> blows up. But the uh, way you actually fuel this car is, oh wait, no, but the gas, right, right, right. So, okay. I'm siphoning this. This you're this siphoning halo. this. Gotcha. Okay, so give me sleight of hand. Okay. Nine. Oh, that was you. Uh -oh. Yeah, that was me. It starts. That was a nine. It's a little dark in here. It's a little cramped. Your file's a little big. There's a lot of halo in this car. They, <laughs> feel, they filled up I before they came the to the party. They're like, where's the lid? <laughs> you lose the lid. The lid is gone. <laughs> you don't know where the table is halo. It, is this okay? It goes from, from it goes vehicle? from like a it goes from like a you know a, a heist movie like extraction to like a sitcom where it's like your containers filled up and it's like keeps coming and you're, you're like looking for the oh, other container. Oh, it's like, a, it's like <laughs> a home alone situation like a 90s kids movie kind of right, thing. Yeah. It's like... like i'm trying to get other containers and i'm just yeah to, i can't stop <laughs> it i actually do have a on my inventory i have a, an unworn pair of boots i would like okay to you do grab those boots <laughs> and then just do a shoey while you're at it just drink yeah. out of the shoe oh, well, yeah <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> unintentionally, these boots actually, <laughs> um, these boots, I, I have them, um, I've put a, uh, one of my, uh, so as an artificer, I have the ability to do infuse item and I pre-infuse the boots with the, like this teleporting ability. So these are teleporting boots full of halo. Um, <laughs> just putting that out there. Not because I want chaos, but they're there. Okay. But yeah, I'm just like filling up anything that I can, and maybe they're just Halo is spilling out all over the Halo, place. Halo, Halo is ever. I mean, um, I, I mean, it's not like a normal car in our world where it's going to be like twelve gallons. It's going to be like, you know, I'm going to roll a D8 real quick. Okay, there's there is eight gallons of Halo in here. <laughs> eight gallons, two liters. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, okay. Uh, I got. I had to. I had to convert that. <laughs> no worries. You're Canadian. I understand. I had to convert. But that yeah, one. you. At this As I point, said at the beginning of the session in chat. Uh, this yeah, Capenna is a world of crime, so they definitely use the Imperial units. One hundred percent. But a crime they... against math. <laughs> I'm. I'm just. I get so at this point. I, I bet. I imagine I'm soaked do? in Halo. You are. You are drenched yeah. in Halo. <laughs> Am I just like this glowing <laughs> raccoon? You look amazing. <laughs> Are you ingesting any of this? Of course. <laughs> I mean, not, not, like, of course. Not not by I feel like this was just kind of happening and was like, oh freaking out. It's just getting in my mouth. And it's it's getting to that point where I think I imagine the 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 inner workings of the car just full of halo. It's leaked everywhere. It's well, I imagine it's also like, you know, a raccoon, like Right, raccoons like all my hands, my little they... hands. Yeah, oh, your tiny little hands, <laughs> little hands. You're like, oh you're like licking your. Things. Right, you're trying to clean yourself off, but then ingesting the halo while that's happening. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, roll me a D four. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is all the raccoon energy. It's great. <laughs> two. You've ingested two servings of halo. <laughs> oh my god. That... Off the rip. You, I'm, I'm just your your wisdom modifier is a negative one. <laughs> okay, I'm, oops, sorry. I'm gonna temporary. I'm gonna. <laughs> this is like a wisdom trap. Just <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You get reckless. This is the best way I thought I could represent that. Okay, oh, so my, you you, uh... you there's a warning voice in the back of your mind. You know, you hear for a moment like your family, like your mom, say like. Come on, Marla. You can't. You can't just drink all the Halo. And you know you're going to end up like your cousin Toby. You're gonna end up like your cousin Toby. Don't do it. So what I what I adjust this Halo, I'm going to put it all into spells. Sounds great. So Go ahead. I'm just going to have some wild ass magic. Nice. Um, Which is great. But I'm still. Yeah. I feel like I'm still inside the hood of the car, and like the glow is kind of radiating out of the cracks yeah no there's radiating the cracks and then there's like spillage <laughs> oh 100 percent. and and so eventually you know you is there anything else you want to do before you pop out of this like some I, kind I, of is there anything like, else i want to do more her lesson jack in the box worth of halo try fail at sabotaging the car i mean no you sabotage the car, the car. 
fail at subtly sabotaging the car. Um, I'm just a raccoon that is effectively soaked in gas. I mean, what <laughs> can you not gas. do? I love it. Well, what yeah, can you not I feel do like soaked I've, in Halo. I feel like I've done a lot. Is it also is Halo Halo volatile? Because I have a lot of fire magic. Halo is not volatile in and of itself. No. Okay, cool. It's Good an enhancer. Know. It's like it's like MSG. What a question! Yeah, so though. I think okay. oh, magic <laughs> MSG. What a great Sheesh. like metaphor. That is such yeah. a magic one. MSG. Okay, yes. I love it. I'm gonna emerge out of the hood because I'm just like <laughs> I'm gonna drown in Halo, and I'm just gonna emerge out of the hood. It's gonna spill everywhere. <laughs> as you as you clamber out of this car, you know you see your like handprints and footprints. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. it's my, like my little Neo. It's like Neo prints. in the Matrix. Like oh yes. nobody's <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly that. <laughs> And um, as you get out of the car, uh, you get a ping on the uh, little obscure communicator. Um, and you... <laughs> your your communicator's just covered in halo. Um, oh yeah, it's glowing. <laughs> it's just glowing. Every part of you just glowing. Um, it says, oh, this, this is, is Jekyll. 50 miles on the dial for me. <laughs> uh, this is Jekyll. I think you might want to pull a car around. Uh, wait, I'm trying to try to sound like I'm, I imagine I'm kind of tripping. I'm like I'm full of you're, energy. You're yeah. You're just very energetic right now. Very, like you're just full of. I'm trying to potential. be really cool and be like, <laughs> be right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna walk over to, to to Louise. I'm gonna like doors are gonna come up, and I'm gonna sit in the front seat, soaked in Halo. And the entire sort in of like, oh, in my little booster seat and the entire front of the car, the like from the inside is radiating this glow. <laughs> it has truly become the cash cab. <laughs> wow. Amazing. You turn on Louise and you start heading over. While oh, yeah. you have been doing all of this, Lil Rice, uh, Jimena and Squiddy. Um, Lil Rice, you, you come in with a plate full of hors d'oeuvres. And Jimena, you um are trailing these bodyguards and these bodyguards they uh you you lose track of them for a little bit then you see them reemerge, and between them is johnny low and they walk him over to the kiss and tell um room where mm -hmm. you see um patricia say oh my god oh my stars what what how, what are you doing here? Roll insight, anyone who wants to. Yeah, yeah sure. I will roll insight. Come on, insight. I'm oh so close. I got it. Out. Nine. Just a seven. Eighteen. Oh, she's lying. <laughs> she's mm. she, this little one ain't surprised at all. She was about as she's about as surprised to see him as she was when she heard her husband had passed. How is she? <laughs> how surprised is she? How surprised is he? Like, is he? This is his plan. Like, is there any sort of emotion crossing his face? He, as he walks into the room, um, you see someone who looks a little anxious, but is more like, he it looks immediately at Mercy and like a possession, possessiveness comes across his face as he uh. looks at his, par at his partner and uh sees her sitting there and she gets up and just drapes herself over him and says i'm glad you could join the party darling <clears throat> jimena's coming over to that area okay you walk over and the three of you are in this room with the hostess of the party I, and... i'll bring the dish of hors d'oeuvres over as well Oh, what's the and um the Mercy looks over at the 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 tray and says, "Oh, little meatballs." Well, I'm vegan, so unless these are vegan, I can't have any. Oh. <laughs> um, Johnny, do you want one? Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. of course, of course, I'll take one. Yeah, it's, uh, here, I'm just gonna take this whole thing. Oh, <laughs> but first, take this whole tray. Can I actually have can I have one before you take the whole thing? Uh yeah, sure. 
and he um holds out he he like waves a little rice to uh give you first dibs on this plate of meatballs on sticks okay uh so little rice as you come over to me and hand me like uh one mm-hmm. i think like <laughs> i take a little napkin <laughs> yeah and i just say um very quick like if i can i'll lean in and just say um it's only him and two guards. Do with that information what you will, and then I will walk away. Uh, I'll look over at Squiddy because Squiddy's in this room with me, and uh, kind of not so subtly, but subtly, because like it's almost subtle because it's so goofy. I'm just like, <laughs> right? Like I'm gonna... I, want, I want my I want my mall. That's what I'm basically saying. Right? Like a, like a... Be my mall. <laughs> So while while I'm giving you these eyes, in. these this is this is the eyes. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, I stand up and I'm like Johnny, uh, and uh, I don't think that I I don't know Johnny. He doesn't know me, but I'm gonna try and use deception to convince like Johnny and everybody else that like oh like you must have just forgotten me, but like you know we you we did you know remember back in the day when we did whatever. Um, mm-hmm. And try to sort of like convince him that he does actually know me. Okay, roll. All right. Oh come on. Okay, it's a, it's a sixteen. Okay, he looks at you. He's like, yeah, I, I guess like, yeah. Patricia's said a lot about you. Uh, good lawyer. It's cool. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, and I like come up to Johnny. And I put like my arm. Wait, wait the, there's two bodyguards there, right? Yeah, the two two big dudes are right there, and you've also got Mercy draped over him. Oh, okay. Um, I like lean in. I don't touch him because I don't want to like set the guards off. But I lean in and I'm like, "Hey, Johnny, like you know, I hear that you've got a little bit of trouble going on, <laughs> and I can help you out." You know, um, I, don't, I ain't got any trouble. You must, you must have taken too much Halo. Well, why don't we step outside and talk about this privately? And when I say that, I'm going to be casting suggestion. Okay. So what have I got to be? Um, let's see. My save is a. It's a wisdom save of fourteen. Um. Anyone who cares to in this room will insight for me on Johnny. While this is happening, I'm still giving like the the angry black uncle of eyes at him. Like, <laughs> give me my mall. <laughs> and and wait, sorry. And just to be clear, before this happens, like I do have my eldritch sight. Did I notice anything about Johnny that was magical? He does have. Well, he doesn't have any magical items on him, uh, other than the usual like, like his like he's got a plus one AC to his like suit but that's pretty standard okay so there's no like magical protection got, like, on him or anything not or, not right now he definitely okay. feels like he's got i don't know he's a little he's a little arrogant okay insight folks how how did we do oh i think you're muted oh lexi, i think you're muted, muted lexi ah this is annoying uh i i rolled a 16 i have a plus four so that's another dirty 20 very 20 and I'm I'm foregoing it because I'm very intent at looking at Squiddy. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, yeah. Intimidation check for trying to get you small. <laughs> That's so funny. You love to see it. Yeah. Um, so uh you get the vibe that this guy's been vibing a little bit of Halo. Mm. Only a little How bit. Good, much? good. Yep, like this. A couple of servings, maybe. Okay. I think Minus I'll walk. I think I'll walk up and just. Um. I mean, if you wanted to join my friend and I outside, we could talk about your issue and maybe have a little bit more of what we all enjoy. And I will take one of my little glass vials, and then do the thing. I'm just gonna sleight of hand, drop it down my suit coat so it's like he sees it and then he does it oh nice okay i'm not gonna make you roll for that because that's badass dope <laughs> so god his love wiz- that did he, has he i'm gonna ro- now i will okay, roll. You're gonna roll now i okay. shall roll uh but are you okay 
cool. Um, he looks at the two of you and he's like, especially his eyes on the halo, and he's like, yeah, okay, yeah. sure, let's go talk. Uh, God, uh, Don and uh, Don Fredo, you wanna? I'll just wait out here. It's fine. <laughs> and, uh, then what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Look at them. Right. Look at them. The yeah. more, the more there me. are, the more we have to share. I'm know? an I'm an old squid. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I I like put my arm around him and like like start walking him out. Okay. So the... <laughs> meanwhile, you guys I... rocks the staring please. at you. <laughs> Can I yeah, please got... open your briefcase? <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, okay, so just to clarify, I pop, right. I so, pop two halos and I'm like, <laughs> I'm telling him to, uh, like, you know, right, come with me, leave the guard behind, basically. Um, and so, uh, I failed to say, pursues the course of action you described to the best of its ability. Um, it can, it can last, it's a concentration, it can last up to eight hours. So, it does, it's not going to run out, uh, during this, like, party. Um, uh, but basically, I am so I don't know exactly how long he's gonna like follow me. But like straight up, I'm just trying to walk him right out the front. Like I'm like, okay. like um, he's not like, resist you. Marlo is pulling the car around. I'm like, I can if we can just walk him straight out the front and into the car, we're good to go. We're just out of here. You actually I do you, when you when I you do see... hand my briefcase yeah. to Lil Rice. As like I start walking with him, I'm like, "Come with me, Johnny," and I hand the briefcase a little rice so that it, if if we gotta start fighting, little rice can just whip the um the mall out. So um, you you do that actually as you uh when you do grab him, you see uh you walk him into like more of the front area out of the parlor, and you actually do see Declan in his tiny domino mask, like with his big jowls, and <laughs> you. <laughs> And he's just like, of course, yeah, golf has been excellent lately. Whatever rich people right. talk about. If I, <laughs> if, I see, <laughs> if, I see, <laughs> if I see Declan, I'm like, like I thumbs up, okay. like don't do anything. Like we are like, like I, we're walking him out. Like we've got it. It's going, he, it's going good. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he, he like nods at you companionably. He's like, I'm going to use the bathroom now. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 Where's the bathroom? And that's Marlo when you get the call. Um, All right. I feel good. I just feel good about like he's under suggestion, so we're gonna walk out the door. And then Jimena and Lil Rice, if the guards sense something suspicious going on, then they can cover us as we like run. I think that I'm with you because I offered the halo. So I yeah, just... yeah, yeah. I, I imagine that Lil both Rice of you are is... like right behind. Oh yeah. And like you know, and so that way, if the guards like run, like you two can just turn around and just like start fighting them. Oh yeah. Uh, One of the rocks I saw earlier, I'm gonna nod at them and grab the tray, another tray of of stuff. Yeah. So it looks like I'm just trying to accompany them with food, whatever they're participating in. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. So you you walk them out. the The guards do follow, but from a distance. You know, because they're like they they've clearly been hired to look after him, but he's also like arrogant and wants to enjoy the party. Mm -hmm. So uh, they follow distance, and then. Um, you you see like as, and so you you follow them declan comes back out. as you start approaching the mezzanine or like the foyer essentially mm -hmm. uh you see declan uh looking like like <laughs> he, he looks around and he sees a giant painting of of mercy and the album cover and also a bunch of flowers and like another like it's basically a chocolate fountain and mm -hmm. he's like oh he starts like <laughs> in his old man way. It's just like he he tries to like knock over the uh, the chocolate fountain. He succeeds <laughs> really well. He he like succeeds and then he like uh, is like oh nice. and then he does like a he does like a Mr. Magoo thing where he just like slips and he's like oh <laughs> domino effect as he, he tries to create a distraction for all of you to leave. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh no, I've fallen over. Oh, I've never oh, had so I've never had oh, Mr. Magoo bad. as a helpful NPC, but it's so funny. Please. Here we go. Um and uh, he's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so old. You big strapping fellas, get over here. <laughs> Covered in chocolate and halo. And he, he turns and he just like, he tries to catch your eyes. 
I don't know if you're busy, but if you look back, he's gonna wink at you. Um, but yeah, you you get him up, and Marla, you you like just pull up as you do so, and the doors open, like a, an iridescent glowing raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo is like normally very well, like well composed and says, Hey everyone, how's it going? I know I said that I had a rule about no drinking or eating in the vehicle, but I might be reevaluating that right now. I'm is like, that the guy? Yeah. Like I take out, like, right. I do the same thing as he where I like, I'm using the halo that I have to be like, look, it's a party car. Like, yeah, you know, cool like, party, yeah. have, like oh, even my... the driver is. Whoa, <laughs> that thing is glowing. He's glowing. Right. So like, does he like get in the car? Like, do you order him to get in the car? Um, yeah. Like, I I'm basically like, uh, party bus. This might be a persuasion roll because I think that this is like another yeah. level beyond. Go the ahead, suggestion. roll me. Go ahead, roll me persuasion then. And, yeah, but I'm um, you like do so with advantage because you. Yeah, I want to help. Hey, why you. wait? All right, let's just go back to my office right now and like you know work out this paperwork. I can get you off scot free. Um, all right, oh my let's God, see. My girlfriend's gonna be so angry with me, but. 19. Let me, um... <laughs> Just generally... Come on. No. <laughs> the dice are rolling poorly for me tonight. Um, <laughs> he, he's... Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mercy is going to be so pissed, but, like, she gets it. Oh, you know? it'll be so quick. It'll be so quick. You know, we'll be she right back. She won't even know that you were gone. Did she say that you were a nine as the door closes? <laughs> Just, like, let's, let's get... <laughs> you look nine <laughs> as all of you so, get into the car. Okay, so all four of us are in the back seat <laughs> yes you're all the back seat of the car with plastic it's yeah. with plastic the everything is covered and it seems yeah for now it seems like you are so you you start heading out and marlo as you as you drive away cool. you start cool. hearing cool. people shouting behind you <laughs> where'd it go where'd it go 